Materials for Blood Stain Pattern Mapping, Preservation, and Documentation Blood stain patterns are documented through notes, sketches, diagrams, photography, and video. Each of these documentation methods has its advantages and disadvantages. Documentation by taking notes is initiated at the onset of the case and continues through its completion. Sketches and diagrams complement the photographs that are taken. Together, they provide a clear picture of the scene. Sketches and diagrams can depict relative distances between objects and other essential fine details. Video is a good overlap for scene photographs and may occasionally capture information that was inadvertently not photographed. The best way to document bloodstain patterns is to photograph them. Road mapping is the most effective method for completing photographic documentation of bloodstains. It was developed through the efforts of Toby Wilson, a criminologist with the Miami-Dade Police Department. To properly map the scene, the analyst must insert many road signs and scales for reference. The analyst must wait until the scene is processed before completing the road map. Each major bloodstain group or pattern is identified with a label, which is either a number or a letter. Let's take a look at the labels, scales, and other materials needed to document a bloodstain pattern at a crime scene. Let's watch a video showing the materials needed to photograph and document bloodstain patterns. These road mapping materials are recommended to be used when photographing blood stains at the scene of an investigation. Paper scales are available in horizontal and vertical formats. The measurements on the yellow paper follow the U.S. system, while the white scales follow the metric system. This first booklet contains adhesive arrows to point to evidence collected from the scene of an investigation. A separate booklet contains large adhesive numbers to label pieces of evidence. The yellow booklet has both adhesive arrows and numbers, as well as letters to be used to label each individual bloodstain and pattern at the scene. The first box contains individual adhesive letters with scales, while the second box has numbers with scales to label bloodstains. A glue stick is used to keep the yellow paper and white paper metric scales in place on horizontal and vertical surfaces. Apply the glue to the back side of the paper scales. Reusable adhesive strips, such as this Funtac brand, can be used instead of glue to keep the paper scales in place. Adhesive tape can also be used on the back of the paper scales. If used properly, all of these materials can assist in labeling bloodstain evidence when photographing the scene of an investigation. You have completed this activity, Materials for Bloodstain Pattern Mapping, Preservation, and Documentation.